the him that Byron Leftwich was referring to is a uh, former Patriot Rob Nikovich, who you know well, Michael. Uh, we talked I do. in the last segment about how I'm nervous that Aaron Rodgers and the Packers, despite seemingly have the, having the road to Super Bowl 56 paved in gold for them, green and gold for that matter, uh, I'm nervous about the possibility of them coming up short Saturday night against San Francisco. You told me I had nothing to worry about. You also are picking the Rams to continue their regular season dominance of the Buccaneers for the Rams to knock off Tom Brady, which in theory could mean if this is the end of the Bucs season, could this be the end of the line for Tom Brady, which is what Rob Nikovich said earlier this week that he would not be surprised if Tom Brady uh, surprised everybody else and, and walked away and retired after this year. I, with all due respect to Rob Nikovich, who knows Tom Brady much better than I do, yes. ain't no way in hell Tom Brady would walk away after a loss. Tom Brady can't walk away after victory. The only way Tom Brady is ever going to leave this game is a la John Elway, a la Michael Strahan, a la Jerome Bettis. He is going to leave with the Lombardi in hand. I can't believe that the guy who manages to keep finding new and creative ways to motivate himself right. to come back yep. despite his wife's yep. question of what else do you have to prove. I can't imagine a world in which Tom Brady goes home with an L and holds that for the rest of his life. Can't see it. Hey, my Tom Brady. Now, this is not the Tom Brady that, that you and I knew way back in the day and, and you knew him uh, his rookie year you used to talk to him when he was like the, the fourth quarterback on the roster. You say, hey, what's up, Tom? Everybody else talking to Drew Bledsoe and, and, and Michael Bishop, the third quarterback. You're talking to Tom Brady. So this is way back, way back, long time ago, long time ago, 20 plus years ago. But that Tom Brady, you know, uh, backwards cap. Sometimes he wear uh, a San Francisco 49ers baseball cap. Then, you know, that was during the time the Red Sox hadn't won a championship. So some Red Sox fans got a little sensitive over that. So he he started wearing a Red Sox cap too. So this is a different Tom Brady. This Tom Brady wears a TB12 cap and he charges $65 for it. This Tom Brady does something called time versus time and man in the arena. So you best believe I'm just going to tell you this from a business standpoint. If Tom Brady's going to retire, he ain't going to get that to Rob Ninkovich going into divisional round weekend for free. Well, I don't think Brady's going to retire. If Tom Brady's going to retire, didn't report it. I, he didn't report. It. I think he was just speculating it. Yeah, yeah. He speculated. But didn't think it was informed speculation. But oh, okay. no, I don't think it is. Because okay. even if it's if it's informed spec speculation, we're like, Tom wouldn't go to him and say, it's just between us. Don't don't say I said it, but hey man, I'm done. I don't think he would do that. That like this is Tom Brady's at the point in his career. And you're right, by the way. You're right. He's not gonna leave after a loss. He's not gonna leave after a win. He's not gonna leave this year. But when he does leave, I think Gotham Chopra is gonna be involved. The guy who's in Tom versus Time. <laughs> oh, right. He'll, and he'll, man he'll, he'll monetize that departure somehow. This is gonna be some Yeah. And, you know, Jim Gray, He'll Jim Gray is going to be around. He'll, he'll <laughs> announce it on a Let's Go it's, podcast, right? No, it's yeah, gonna, no question right, about it's gonna it. Be, it's going to be a big production. I just don't. Well, he's also he said he's going to walk away once and he, he sucks. Be, and he's such a long way from that. Right. He doesn't he suck. He said that. He, he has floated playing until 50. And the way he thinks, he's not even going to ponder this during the season. He would feel like he was cheating on himself and cheating on his teammates if he even had this conversation with yeah. his old teammates right he's about so the end laser focused yeah, yeah. so well, I, a conversation I don't think with himself going to happen if he was having a conversation with himself or his wife or his kids or anybody i don't think he's even entertained it i don't think the thought has crossed his mind um so no i don't think he even knows if he would walk away so yeah for all the reasons you just laid out and you're right from a business standpoint and in 2022 he's not allowing somebody else to own his narrative but I do appreciate Rob Ninkovich saying it though. I do appreciate it. And the key word is appreciate because I watched the, this this weekend's games because I mean, okay, we argued about Aaron Rodgers and whether or not there's any pressure on him to win the Super Bowl or at minimum get back to a Super Bowl, right? Like we're staring. We are staring mortality in the face this weekend because Aaron Rodgers 
probably more so than Brady. He could decide, you know what? All right, I'm really done now. I'm retiring. Or mm. he could drum up the trade demand. Despite I never thought that Rodgers would leave Green Bay from the beginning, because he because where you got it, where you got it better than this. But he could decide, man, I just cannot break through here. So I want to move on. Trade me. So it could be the end of Aaron Rodgers tomorrow night or this season as an NFL quarterback. Could be the end of Aaron Rodgers in his era in Green Bay. Likewise, the reason I appreciate Rob Ninkovich even broaching the possibility that Brady could shock everybody and walk away, even though he doesn't suck, which I guess a la Jim Brown. Maybe he wants to walk away at the top of his game, right? Um, yeah. Before he even gets close to declining. But is there a movie? The reason is there, I is there a movie Tom Brady <laughs> right, wants to he, make? I, yeah, right. <laughs> Dirty dozen or something. But I, I appreciate yeah. it because what it does, at least for me, is it just makes me appreciate in both these instances, whether it's Rogers or Brady, it, it makes me more appreciative of the opportunity that we have this weekend to watch both these masters put forth another master class. Maybe they see each other again with a Super Bowl trip on the line in the NFC Championship game. Same as we talk about with LeBron James with the Lakers. I told you a long time ago, man. I'm watching the Lakers through a, through a lens of LeBron and LeBron only. Like, I'm not looking at yeah. it as like, will the Lakers figure it out? Will they win a championship? I'm like, this dude's 37 years old, year 19, killing it at small ball center now. I'm just enjoying the show while it's still going on. So in the event that Tom Brady does just decide to say, you know what? 5,000 yards and you know, 40 some odd touchdown passes and setting a record for completions. I know I didn't win a Super Bowl, but it's time for me to go spend time with my family. I'm going home and be a family man. I've done all I can do. I didn't get it done this year, but I don't care. I, I got seven of them things. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm right, content. Right, right. If Brady does decide that in the offseason, I don't want to be like, damn, I wish I'd have appreciated it more when I had the opportunity. I wish I would have, you know, cherished these last moments because it's, it's even hard for me to imagine an NFL without Tom Brady, but sooner or later, probably later, more so than sooner, that's going to be our reality. Yeah, and, and that's why, that's why, Mike, what you just pointed out, that's why I think the pressure is on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and nobody has really mentioned it because of the thing that you love and the thing that you hate, but you hate it more than you love it, and that's quarterback records. So we just look at Tom Brady's quarterback record, and that's it. Hey, Tom Brady's got it. He's got to figure it out. He always does it when the pressure's on. He feels no pressure, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But he's got 35 playoff wins. And this year, he's going to be 45 years old. 45. All right. So he's already answered the question can he play well at 40? He was MVP when he was 40 years old, oldest MVP in league history. And now, He's in his 45th year. He's got his team in playoff position again. How long? Do, how long do we think that will last? I know we just get, get so used to it. Well, he did it at 40. Uh, he did it at 44. Hey, Tom Brady, he hey, will be great. He'll be good. As long as he's there in Tampa, they'll be fine. I'm telling you, it is year to year for, for me. I, I'm just it's fragile. It's fragile. You you got to your, your starting quarterback is 44 years old. That's got to make you nervous. It's not like you've How got so? uh, a four. You it's not like your window that he is may walk wide away. open. No nervous. Why, that why are you nervous? Your window every because every year I'm not talking about falling off a cliff. I've never been that guy. I've never said anything. Oh, he's going to fall off a cliff, but who, who would say such a at, thing? I, I don't know who would say that. I don't know who would who would even like who would who would say it? Who would listen to it? Who would give it va val validity? Who would do that? I don't know. But at 44, you've got to you've got to be very conscious of how long you can get elite, next level production. You do, and you can you can shrug at it. You can raise your eyebrows. But what I'm saying now, the greatest coach of all time said two years ago he was wrong. He thought, at, you know, right around 42. Uh, I don't know if I can commit to Tom Brady for two or three more years. I don't know what I'm going to get. Well, he was wrong, but I understand why he would have that thought because he had never seen it before. Not right now. Are you confident in like two more years? 
that Tom yes. Brady's going to give you what he gave yes. you this year. You will, you are okay. What well, I am, uh, and, I, I'm uh, not. Or, or at least some at least some approximation of it. I mean, listen, the best news I saw today and and before we hit this break, I, I, I want you to tell me once again why you think our Rams apparently why our Rams are going yours. to knock They're off yours. this. Oh, I'm not on the bandwagon. The, oh, I just like the matchup. Okay. I just like the matchup. That's oh, all. Well, that's all. All right, which I want to dive into momentarily, but I'll just say, you know, even if he's not the best news I saw today with regard in respect to this game is that both Tristan Wurst and Ryan Jansen are back practicing for the Buccaneers. So uh, as people who like to discredit Tom Brady's MVP case this year have often pointed out. He's got one of the best, if not the best offensive lines protecting him. Okay, we'll see what happens with Chris Godwin's contract, but it's got a pretty good wide receiver core. Leonard Fournette, I think is could be activated this week. You know, they got, they got to run again. Yeah. They got a defense. Like I think that I think yeah. the team around him will continue to be good enough and Brady will be more than good enough in the next several years should he choose to continue playing for this championship window that, in Tampa to remain open. So Michael, tragic. I said it after I said I said after they won last year's Super Bowl, I said Brady's going to threaten 10 wins. I said he's going to win my preseason pick to win it this year was Tampa. So I think I right, thought he went right. eight number eight this year and then before it was all said none he threatened 10 taking him at his word that he can play until he's 50 or close to it continue to be at a high enough level, maybe not NFL MVP level, but there's a huge gulf between NFL MVP and we can't win a championship with this guy that Brady will occupy for the remainder of his career. He won't put it this way. We, we referenced Peyton Manning in the last segment. He won't ever be Peyton Manning circa Super Bowl 50. He won't ever be that guy that is getting benched for Brock Osweiler during the year and his defense is dragging him to a championship leading the we'll league ne- that will never be Tom way Brady up there because he'll yeah. leave. He'll leave way before then way before then he'll never just lose it overnight for lack of a, just it to say it a different way. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching brother from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.